today is Monday, November 13th, 2023. I'm going to Ohio Valley Honda in Ohio, just west of Pittsburgh, to pick up a brand new Moto Compacto scooter. I've been messaging with one of the sales associates. Right now they have four in parts, so he's gonna hold one for me. It's about a four hour drive. So without further ado, let's hit the road. I got 251 miles to go. So I'm about an hour away from the dealership, still in Pennsylvania. And I just wanted to let you know the purpose of this video series is going to be to share my real world experience with the Moto Compacto. All the videos I've seen online so far, it's just automotive journalists driving these things at press conferences for when they first came out. And there's no real world experience. I want to know how long you can actually go before the battery dies, what happens when it gets super low, how many miles you can actually expect to see out of this thing before it needs repairs. And that's why I'm going to Ohio is to get one of the first ones so you guys can see what they're actually like before you go and spend a thousand dollars on one. Here we are, Ohio Valley Honda. Let's hope that they still have them because this was a long journey down. Here it is. I'm gonna unbox it once they get home. I just want to go check and take a look at the display up in front. I picked up the Moto Compacto scooter. It actually went through the parts and service department. So we're here at Ohio Valley Honda. I have a VIN number, 2023 Moto Compacto. Got an RO number. The price was $9.95. So I got one of the first five that came in. One is on the showroom floor. Two they shipped to Colorado. One they shipped to California. And this one they saved for me. And since it was one of the first ones, I had to pay $50 extra. So the total before tax was $10.45. After tax, $11. 20 and 89 cents and shout out to Parker in sales he helped me out a lot even though he didn't get a commission off of it welcome back today we're going to be doing an unboxing video on the Moto Compacto so this was just a box that it got shipped to the dealership in and this is the actual box that the scooter comes in. Some instructions. Now to open the box up, there are these tabs. Ta-da! Looks like we've got a charger. This might be the hook to your wall. It's got a cable like this. The charger is actually the same shape as the scooter. Operation manual. Small boxes also. This looks like a little owner's manual here. It's got some styrofoam in the corners. that lock that into place there's the kickstand now the seat the seat just flips open like that push it down into place and that's it let me try to start it I'm not sure if this thing has any battery oh 
I forgot to extend the back wheel out. I just sat on it and almost tipped backwards. Now the back wheel appears to be locked into place. Now when I sit on and it doesn't want to tip backwards. Hold the power button down. It started up. It's got a full charge. Now I believe mode one means that it won't go unless you're moving at least one mile an hour. And if you go to mode two, so oh, it looks like this flashes on and off the headlight. Then you hold it for mode two double tap for mode two and that gives it power right away so i'm in this church parking lot go for a little spin doesn't have a lot of power up the hills all right i gotta try to set the phone up and film myself here Going uphill, it only goes six miles an hour. Downhill, I had it at 16. And if you hit the brake too hard, it's a rear disc brake or a rear drum brake. It will skid. Let's see if I can do a burnout. This thing's a blast. This thing is a blast to drive. It's a little sketchy because the tires are so small. Taking a look at the front tire. It's not very aggressive. It's like a plasticky rubber solid. There's no air in it. The back tire has some traction to it, a little bit more than the front, but it's also solid. The size is a 200 by 50, whatever that means. It also looks like the headlight is either off or if you hit this, then it flashes. As of now, I'm not sure if you can just leave it on full time. Maybe in the app, I'm gonna try to set that up now. So this wraps up my going to pick up slash unboxing slash initial test drive video. So far, I like it. It seems a little cheap. I'd say this thing's worth like five, 600 bucks, not 1100, but oh well, I already bought it. Stay tuned for full reviews off-roading or at least trying to off-road some real world range testing in mode one and mode two because i'm interested to see what the difference is i tried to set up the app but it wouldn't let me type in the vin number it, i typed it in but it said it was invalid so maybe i have to update the app i'm not sure but my end goal is to put 10,000 miles on this thing which is a lot it's going to take a few years i think but I'll try my best and keep everyone posted on what happens with it, what breaks, what's reliable, and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching.